the so-called controversy concerning our temple is very unfortunate. The worst part is, why did Chandra Babu Naidu resort to such practices? Why did he stoop down to this level? Just today he is advertised in his newspaper, advertised in, in the newspapers, so-called newspapers supporting him, about his 100 days of regime. He knows very well that during the course of these 100 days, mm -hmm. Chandra Babu Naidu failed on every promise what he made to the people during his election campaign. He failed on every campaign, he failed on every promise that is mentioned in the manifesto. In the manifesto, he spoke about Super 6. In the manifesto, he spoke about Super 7. And after 100 days, he stands in a situation where people are cursing him for not delivering on those promises. And to divert from, and to divert people's attention from this act of, from this act of his, He had stooped down to the extent of tarnishing the image and reputation of our temple. In fact, the most unfortunate thing is, TTD board is a very renowned board. It's a very, it, con it comprises of people from all over the country. People with highest, people with high stature, people who've been recommended by the central ministers, people who've been recommended by the chief ministers of neighboring states, all of them become party, all of them become party to the board. All of them are the members of the board. Such is the reputation of TTD board. And what has actually happened here is just a routine practice, routine practice, which has been twisted for political gains. See, this process is not new. Every six months, TTD routinely calls for tenders. Uh, routinely, people who have been selected as L1 will be awarded the contract of supply of these materials for these preparation of these for, 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 for supply of these ingredients for in preparation of these ladus or any such things. This is a routine process. The, pre the, the, the criteria of qualification and these kind of things were not set recently. They've been in existence for decades. Not that it's, it's come out of the blue only in recent years. No, not so. This is a routine process, online tendering process, where anybody who fits into this qualification is free to participate in these tenders online. And if he qualifies, he becomes L1. And it is ratified by the board. It's as simple as that. Now coming to the procedure. Now coming to the practices which are in store. Every company which is qualified, if they were to supply any ingredients, any tanker, they would have to ensure that every tanker what they supply would have to be carrying NABL certificate, National Accreditation Board for Labs certificate, whatever, whatever this board, 
national like NABL certify, whatever certificate these people give them, that certificate on product quality would have to be obtained with every tanker these people bring. And the process doesn't stop there. When these people come, when this, when this tanker comes with this particular accompanied certificate, then after that, TTD also mandatorily conducts three tests, collecting three samples from every tanker. This is mandatory, compulsory. And all the three tests conducted by TTD, only when they pass out, only when they pass out, then only then the tanker is good to go into the temple and where the ingredients could be used to make laddus or, or laddus or, this pras or, or different kinds of prasadams, what, are, what will later be distributed to the devotees.